Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. This wig had some cold setting on the ends when I took it out of its storage bag. It was all funnily crimped on the ends because I didn't take care of how I put it away in that bag. I'm gonna show you in just a second what it looks like. I've got some before and after pictures for you, but we're gonna work on it with a hot air brush. I have two different attachments. We're going to use them both. This is my Beach Waver Blow Brush. Let's see what this looked like and how I fixed it. All right, you can see that this piece has got some really weird kind of crimps. I don't think I was very careful when I put it away. I like to store my wigs in plastic Ziploc bags and you have to kind of be careful because you can get weird bumps and crimps if you don't put them in there carefully. These are caused by the hair being kind of crimped funny wherever you're storing it, especially if it goes through any temperature fluctuations, that can cause some cold setting. But since this is a heat friendly piece, we can fix it. Let me show you. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. I think that heat friendly fibers work better to air heat when they're a little bit damp. So we're going to start with water. Don't get it too wet. And then I'm going to use my Beach Waver blow brush. I'm going to use the brush attachment. It also has a round brush attachment. It also has a diffuser for human hair curls and it comes in a really great case. I think this is so multi-purpose. If I need to, I can switch to the round brush, but I'm gonna start with this and we'll see how it goes. And this is also a great way to refurbish the ends if they're starting to get a little frizzy and need some help. Now it's the cooling process that sets the new style. So I'm gonna give it a moment to cool. This also has an air setting that will help it along as well. Let me turn it on and off. like a cool air setting. So we're getting there. You can see it's much better. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better. And the ends are feeling a lot better as well. Turn it on the air setting. Getting there. Much better. It does often take multiple passes to get the hot air brushes and the air to really work. I find that I actually like the round brush a little bit better. That's just a personal preference. So let's try it with the round brush.
you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want it to be super hanging in the face. So I'm going to go this direction a few times to try to encourage it to go away from the face. Sometimes you just have to play with it. I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. Let's work on it cooling. It's getting better, isn't it? Now, honestly, I find this so much easier to do on a mannequin head than on my own head. Whatever your personal preference is, you can do it that way. Let me do one more pass over here. I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute and then we'll see what we've got. See how much better that is? And because this has got these layers, I probably need to grab this piece and do it separately. See how it falls out because it's layered. Getting so much better. So essentially, when you've got cold setting, cold crimping on a heat friendly piece, you can absolutely work with that with heat. My preference is to use air heat a hot air brush, a hot brush, but you can certainly use a flat iron. Whatever your preference is in working with a wig, you can use that. Good so far, I'll keep working on it. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped give you some ideas. Talk to you soon. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.